the defense. How's it all going so far in seven practices? Uh, it's going it's going great. Uh, just getting adjusted to the offensive tempo um, and just learning the new calls for the defense. Uh, I think we're doing a very good job of, of matching their tempo. Um, got some uh, some things to work on, but I think we're doing a good job. So their tempo, you've got to get the calls in as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And how difficult is that? Uh, very difficult. They go, the offense goes very, 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 very quick. It's something that we're definitely not used to, uh, used to seeing, but uh, we're definitely getting adjusted to it in a good way. In terms of physicality, just seeing you guys out there on Friday, I, we didn't see a whole lot last year, but it mm -hmm. seems like quite a difference as far as the way things are going around here. Uh, yeah, especially for the uh, defensive back, uh, the defensive backfield. Um, Coach Vali just teaches us, be violent, be violent, be violent. Like, we worked on tackling last year, but... Um, like, it's an emphasis this year, so I think it, I think it'll be good for us. How different is that? I mean, obviously you got to tackle in football, but it, it seems like there is a concerted effort to make sure that you guys are yeah. better tacklers. This uh, year. I mean, it's definitely different, but like you said, tackling just comes with the game. So, what's this like for you, just as far as the change in coaches, uh, moving more into a little bit of a leadership role, being back out there mm. this spring? Um, you know, what what are you trying to get out of this? Uh, it's, it's definitely going great. I mean, just letting Coach Vlad push me. Like, like you said, I'm uh, probably the leader in the group, so just letting him push me and uh, keep getting me better. Because you're a little bit of a veteran player now, do you work on different things? Uh, I wouldn't say I work on different things. Probably just working on what I do, what I do know, like what I do know. Uh, just things from the past that, that I was very good at, just trying to get those things better and the things that I like, just get those things better. So if your foundation is your foundation, mm -hmm. you continue to work on that, I guess? Yes, sir. Yeah. What what is what do you feel like you're really good at right now? Um, right now, I'm definitely tackling and uh, getting off blocks. Uh, my footwork and my press technique is uh, very good. It's always been pretty good, but just getting it better, better and better. And then uh, things to work on would be my off coverage. We got we didn't do it a lot last year, but right. we, we got a uh, it's it built in the defense this year, so got to get that better. Coach Belai spoke about you as a guy who's leading by example. Mm -hmm. How how are you doing that? Uh, just doing whatever he tells me to do. Uh, coming up, watching extra film uh, when we're doing the drills, going first, and just letting guys see me do it right. We talk. That was someone you were sort of leaning on during that process before Belai obviously became. Um, your coach, what, what was that like in the whole, you know, coaching transition? Um, I mean, at first, uh, like you said, I didn't know who the coach was going to be. So, I mean, once we heard I heard it was Vala, it was like it was a great thing because seeing Bama's DBs and Georgia's DBs previous to that, they all they all had good careers, and then they go on to the NFL and have good careers. So, just leaning on that, um, being coached by one of the best, uh, Coach Vala is a great coach. So, did you know him before? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. You mentioned some of the schools he's been at. He mentioned, you know, Eric Berry and mm -hmm. his time in the pros. What is it like having a coach like Coach Vlad who's, who's worked with so many of those names? Oh, uh, it's definitely different. Um, my last year, obviously, Roy Manning was our, our uh, corners back, cornerbacks coach, and he played linebacker. I me, mean, he, he did a great job of uh, what he what he could, what he did know. But uh, a guy like Vlad, he's played in the league. He had a great college career, and he's he coached in the NFL. So he, and he's coached some guys in the NFL. So for him to be our coach. It just pushes us to be the best we could be every day. Does he have some good stories to tell? Yeah, a lot. He, he was a hidden, hidden monster. And when we hear him talk, he's so detail oriented. Mm -hmm. he, he goes into all these, these you know, says these things that you know, probably goes over our heads a lot. But yeah. for you, I mean, is, is that is that different? I mean, have you ever had a coach that is so detail oriented every single day in, day out of practice? No, I have not. Uh, I mean, the closest thing for me would be like my trainers back home, uh, just because they're a defensive, defensive back coach. Coach is just like he is, so it's definitely different, but I love it. It, it definitely gets us better. So it seems like that's something playing cornerback too. It's you know, mm -hmm. razor thin margin of error there. Mm -hmm. With technique wise, is that stuff that has been able to he's been able to kind of expound on that I'm not trying to get you to talk shit on anybody, <laughs> no, no, but yeah. it's like with Roy, it was a little bit different because he hasn't played the position. Yeah. With with Jay, it's, mm -hmm. he knows exactly what you guys need to do technique wise. Yeah, yes, sir. It's uh, I mean, he tells us work the frontal. Frontal. It's a lot of different things I could I could tell you. Uh, sure. Just he, he he gives us all the details that we need to uh, to like to get better in our craft. The battle against the wide receivers. Mm -hmm. We've been able to watch a little bit and see videos and things like that. What do you think of that core? I mean, it looks like you've had some great battles with Theo. Mm -hmm. and guys. Oh no, it's definitely a great core. Jalil, Theo, Marvin, Drake. Those guys have played play ball. So I think uh, just Dylan getting adjusted to to them is a, uh, is going good. What kind of you seen out of uh, Kanai Walker so far this spring? Uh, Kanai looks great. Um, 
his press footwork is, is phenomenal. Uh, some some of the best I've ever seen, especially from a young guy. He, don't, he hasn't played a lot of ball, but uh, for him to come in and, and play like he plays like he's been playing, he's, he's doing a great job. Different position, but what can Justin Harrington add? Getting him back out there? Uh, definitely, I think. For me, to me, uh, I think he was always a better safety uh, than he was corner. So I mean, that's what he played when he uh, came in JUCO. He was, he was a hardening safety. So I think uh, just for him to be back is is, is a great thing for us, uh, just to add depth to the uh, to the safety room. After the way last year went for you, and it was really frustrating being out for as long as you were. Compare the way you feel right now to last spring ball going in. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, I definitely feel great. Uh, like you said, last spring I was I had the same uh, tweaked injury, so. Uh, for me to be out there and just being able to uh, actually go during the spring is, is a great thing for me. Is your hunger higher than ever before, yes, too? Yes, sir. Coach Phil, I talked about some of the, the details, attention mm -hmm. to detail, all that. How are you having to operate differently with, with the focus on some of those small things? Uh, I wouldn't say I would, I'm having to operate different. I've always been a very detailed guy, um, just getting extra after, uh, after practice to work on the things that I need to work on. But um, for him to preach it to the, everybody in the group, I think it'll it'll make us a lot better core. What were your initial discussions with him when he first came in? I mean, did he lay out expectations for you personally for this upcoming season? Uh, I mean, I think it was just expectations for for everybody in the uh, in the group. Uh, he's always said for comparing us to different schools that he's been at. Uh, like we have one of the best groups that he's ever coached. He said the thing we lack is like being detailed. So we just work on that. It would be a, a good group. I know it's not something that anyone really cares about now, but I guess during that transitional process, did you ever consider leaving OU or? Is uh, no, I didn't. I didn't consider leaving. If if I was going to leave, it was going to just be going to the draft. But um, just for for us to get a guy like Venables, I was just ready to be coached by one of the greatest defensive minds to ever coach. So obviously, the draft is the goal. Mm -hmm. I would imagine for most players in your position, but I guess what are you trying to do this season that helps heighten that stock? Uh. Get more picks, <laughs> get the ball, uh, be more ball conscious. So. Yeah. Were you missing that time? Just Did that give you any extra perspective on the game or anything like that? Obviously, you know, you're not able to be out there to make you a better vocal leader. Just in what ways did you improve from being on the sideline? Uh, just learning more about the game, uh, different different things that the receivers do when they line up, how their splits are, and uh, just learning the defense. Have you been able to get your Twitter back yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, we're working on that. I have right a now. PS5. You can. I'll, I'll sell it to you if you want. <laughs> no, yeah, I got one. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, sir.